Hi friends, Paul here. Great. You've upgraded to a new Moto phone. You may have Android 9 and it's asking you to upgrade to Android 10. Well, do it. But be advised that you're going to have to install, probably like I did, several updates and upgrades and reboots or restarting your phone. I've got Android version 10 up. Dated with a security patch up through February 1st of this year. Now, when I got this phone, it was updated till, I think, April of the previous year, then did several security patches, and a few days later, the Android 10 upgrade, which I was reluctant to do based on reviews I'd read about this phone. But having done several... Um, reboots the phone is good to go another thing i like about moto is it doesn't come with a ton of bloatware and the apps including the facebook app which may reinstall after each upgrade if you're not a facebook user i am not a facebook user and every time there's been an upgrade or an update i have to go into under, under the apps and uninstall that now on the samsung phones i've had it only allows you to disable the app. With the Moto, I can uninstall it. Moto is closer to the Android root system than Samsung is, even though, yes, there are going to be Moto native apps here um, as far as keeping your app uh, phone updated. One thing I like is you've got Gboard as a keyboard on board. Okay, that uh, pre-installed. Google Files does the cleaning up of this phone. Typically, Samsung has their own cleaning app for that. But um, I just did a clean up before shooting this video. So you can see that is a Google app, which I've used before. But just to be advised, that is pre-installed on this phone. Things I don't like about the phone, the power and volume rocker buttons are all on the same side which is very inconvenient, and you push them inadvertently a lot. Also, the headphone jack is on top of the phone, which is a very poor engineering moto. SIM and SD card are on the side here, 